exclamation everybody and welcome to a little indie alpha game called Centauri Sector. It's by LW Games or Lone Wolf Games, whichever you prefer to say. And this is uh, version 0 0.22, a fairly new release from them of their alpha. This is the actual purchase alpha. Uh, there is also a free demo out there for people to try out, which I think is a slightly earlier version, possibly. Um, but uh, let's jump into this. This is a uh, sci-fi top-down uh, shooter with some RPG elements and some strategy uh, thrown in into the mix. Very, very early alpha. There's not a whole lot of content here yet, but you, there's enough that you can kind of get a sense for what they're going for as far as the game is concerned. A little programming note though, uh, I have turned off the recording of my mouse cursor because they use a custom cursor in here and I noticed in my test uh, recording that it was not, it was coming through looking corrupted um, when DX Tori goes to record it. So that's why you can't see my mouse cursor at the moment, but uh, hopefully you won't need to see it too much. So uh, strategic overview on the strategic map. You can move your fleet by right-clicking to a location in the in the fleet circle, which acts as a maximum range per day. Uh, move and attack only once per day. Uh, encounter an enemy fleet. The mission is initiated. Blah, blah, blah. Beside your fleet, there are other friendly fleets. Uh, you earn XP and prestige, which is your currency. Uh, XP being uh, your level at the top of the screen, which gives you access to certain perks. So we'll get we'll get started here. So down in the right hand corner here, around Terra Nova here, is my ship. You can see a, a white a circle around it. That's as far as I can travel within one day's travel. We're at day zero now, and the system morale is at its maximum, which is a hundred right now. I believe that's the maximum anyway. And my prestige is is nothing to be uh, to be shown of. Uh, and I am starting off a brand new game, so I am Lieutenant Junior, which is Junior rank, which is the very first rank you get in the game so I don't have access to any skills yet uh, or so on and so forth now there's some red blips on the map uh, the idea here is to I'm gonna move slightly towards them and hit uh, my end day turn here oh, of course there would be something appearing over there that I can't get to now um, you can see this encounter is happening over on the left hand side here around Victoria uh, there's an encounter between my ships my fighter ships uh, friendly fire ships and enemies uh, I, That one that number one there means I have one day well really two days to get to it before uh, In order to join that battle and help out, but I won't be able to get over there that fast uh, So instead I'm going to come up here, which looks like we'll, there will be up to Atlantis here Which looks like there will be another encounter forming soonish no, they actually avoided each other. All right, and you see down by Victoria, it's down to zero now, and then that will that battle will be resolved shortly. Uh, and I didn't quite get close enough to <laughs> to engage a, a a battle here yet with these guys. Let's see. Uh, we lost we lost ten morale because the enemies the enemies survived that attack. They destroyed my my friends so our mor system morale is down to 82 now the morale will go down as time goes on so it's important to do uh, good deeds um, in order to keep that going all right so now we're going to get an encounter uh, and you'll see this little encounter thing comes up here talking about the tactical combat this is where we get into the sort of shooter mechanics of this sort of um, use WASD to move around. W actually increases your speed. Um, X, S uh, decelerates you if you need it, which most of the time you won't. Uh, we'll just head on and keep moving here. One of the important things, though, is power management in this. So I am outnumbered three to one. The first thing I want to do is do a shift three here and put maximum power into my shields. And uh, let's, let's hope that we can get rid of these guys before they get rid of me. Now it's it's aimed by uh, the turret that I have is aimed by uh, the mouse cursor, uh, so that's 
That is, and it's very slow to move towards your mouse cursor, so you have to be really, um, you have to be really keen on where you're, where you're aiming and what you're doing. We got rid of that guy. Try and keep my shields. Try and keep the shields that are still have a lot of power in them, facing these guys. Uh, you can see my shield grid on the left hand side there. And yeah, that one. Let me see if I can turn my my side to him again. Maybe get them to follow me from the back for a little bit. These guys are obviously a lot faster than my ship. And I'm being attacked by three of them, so it's it's not easy. It is not very easy to avoid uh, avoid these these shots right now. All right, and we were successful. Destroyed three ships and got 300 XP, uh, 300 prestige, and 360 XP. All right, and then that adds 10 morale back into the system morale here up in the top right corner. You see where day three at. So now that you've finished your first mission, visit the skill panel if you haven't already and select an active skill to acquire. Remember, the active skills can only be used once per mission, uh, which means pretty much once per day. Uh, patrol orders. This is our general orders for the game here. Uh, patrol the Tabula Rasa system and engage pirate fleets. Protect our supply transports at all costs. For each one lost, we lose morale. Uh, if the system morale reaches zero, we lose the system. Fortunately, morale can be gained by completing missions and a little bit when each transport reaches its destination. Uh, assist friendly fleets when possible. If any planet is under attack by pirates, drop everything you're doing and assist the defense fleets. So th those are our three uh, standing orders. And as you can see, the, the large green blips are my fleets. Need to protect them. Those are the fleet ships. They will run from the wormhole uh, up in the top left hand corner to the various planets and do their, do their run. We've got some fighter ships helping us out a little bit, some fleets there. Uh, and then of course red is red are, red are the bad guys. So we want to make sure we keep them at bay. Now I've played a bunch of this game uh, off camera. I think I will point myself towards Hephaestus here, see if I can protect against these guys. And they seem to be heading off now. Now there's a, an encounter over on the right hand side there. Um, but I'm not going to be able to make it there in time, so I want to keep an eye on these guys over here. Yeah, I figured they would try to get into an encounter with that, with that, uh, escort, or that, uh, supply ship there. These are the harder of the missions, is trying to keep these, especially early on in the game like this, trying to keep these supply ships alive is next to impossible. I'm going to do shift one to put as all the power to my engines as I can so I can get to the to the green blip on the radar as quickly as possible. And as you can see they will just circle around the uh, around the friendly transport and, and firing on it until it is destroyed. They will largely ignore me for the most part. Um, but the difficult, difficulty here is because they are moving so quickly, it's hard to get a good bead on them. And they are taking lots of damage, or, or they are causing lots of damage on the on my friendly ship here. You can see my friendly ship up in the right hand corner there, there's a little icon for him and what his, uh, what his current damage is, and as you can see, he's already doing really badly. He's not going to survive this one. I'm not going to be able to get even one of these guys destroyed before they destroy him, unfortunately. Yep, yep. Yeah, early on in the game like this, you really can't win those particular, uh, these encounters, unfortunately. That's been my, uh, my, uh, observations up to this point. Uh, oh, I should probably look at my skills because I forgot to do that. So since I am a lieutenant jun uh, junior grade here, I can pick an active skill. So we've got 20% damage for 30 seconds. Uh, we've got the dissipation of half of the capacitor within 5 seconds. Um, that's dissipating the heat, I should say, uh, which is important. You saw that a little bit. That was that red bar that kept building up as I was firing my weapon. That's heat. You want to dissipate that uh, by not by not firing the weapon for a few seconds. 
Um, and then this one is my, uh, plus 10% damage and plus 10% for 30 seconds uh, to all the ships in your fleet. I, I don't know what... It's plus 10% damage and plus 10% something <laughs> for 30 seconds. I don't know what that... I, pro probably shields, I would imagine, but I'm not sure. It might be speed, too. Uh, that tooltip seems to be missing the other... What the other thing means, but I will take the dissipating half the capacitor because um, that is useful when you're in a long protracted protracted battle. Let's head down this way a bit as we've sort of chased them off a little bit. And of course, the idea here is so our morale is going up slightly because uh, our trade ships have made their made it to their destinations. The idea is to just keep going for as long as you can, keep the morale up for as long as you can. I've played well into, I think, day 30 or so, and by then I was uh, ranked up and we were getting some heavy, heavy fighters coming in. Uh, heavy fleets coming in, I should say. So let's take these guys on by themselves. We'll do another shift three to put as much power to my shields as I can. And we'll get our speed up. Uh, there's also, uh, they've just added in this version of the Alpha, a retreat mechanic, which is very, very useful. I needed that thoroughly <laughs> from the last, the last, um, the last version because it was, uh, there was oftentimes you get into a battle that you can't avoid, uh, and you're basically screwed because you can't, uh, you're well outclassed. So I'm glad to see that they added a retreat mechanic. Uh, as I said earlier, the red bar down below is my heat indicator for the capacitor. As I fire the weapon more and more, it's, it grows. And then the blue bar is, I believe, for... Oh, the blue bar is my speed. Right now I'm at maximum speed. That's right. All right, kill this guy if we can. Good, and now I gotta make sure I leave my, keep my shields that are up pointed at this guy, if at all possible. All right, and let's go this way a little bit. Come on back around. There we go. The uh, yellow sort of bar under you know where my shields are there that is the hull obviously you don't want that to go away <laughs> or else you you get destroyed if you are destroyed and you see I got plus 10 morale because I destroyed them if you are destroyed you you continue the game but uh, your ship loses all of its upgrades you're back to well not all yeah I think it loses all your upgrades it sort of wipes your ship a little bit uh, but you still are in the same ship that you were in. It just goes, it sets you, resets you back to a basic uh, configuration. So you want to you want to stay alive for as long as possible. Uh, speaking of which, what do I have? I've got about 600, 500 prestige, I think. So let's go to Victoria here, and you see now I have access to my inventory, and this is where you can start to upgrade your ships. You can buy new ships. You can get escorts. Once you rank up enough, once you get to rank 4, rank 2 here. Uh, and then you've got modules, weapons, and other things. You can buy ships, uh, new different ships. Uh, right now you're just, I'm sort of stuck in the the, the scepter, as they call it. Uh, I believe this is the scepter. It is some, some, something similar to that. You get destroyers and everything else, and you use your prestige, the 600 that I have, to buy stuff. Uh, what I want to do is I don't have enough for the weapons that I want. Right now I've got a basic laser turret. Uh, I think, yeah, I've got a basic laser turret. Uh, the, I did get at one, one playthrough, I did get a dual fusion turret. At that point, in this early of the game, uh, you pretty much are destroying everything <laughs> with that. So that is my... That is my goal, is to get back to that at some point. Uh, but that requires 3,500 prestige, which is uh, quite a ways away. Do not try to graviton beam. Some of these are turrets, and some of these are just cannons, which means uh, if you get a cannon, you must face your ship in a certain direction in order to 
In order to fire it, the turrets, obviously, you can move your mouse around, and that will uh, fire in whatever direction you want. So let's go to the modules here. And I'd like to get a damage module, because I can do that for 500. So grab that, and we'll drag that onto our module slot there. Very good. And now let's end this day. All right, so far so good. Now let me get to over towards the center a little bit more. Aha, here's here's a few enemies. Oh, they're just they just turned around, and went right after those guys. All right, let's get over here since we only have one day, well, two days really, to uh, intercept these guys. Again, this is going to be a very difficult one to do uh, because oh, and I gotta make sure I actually face. It puts you in a random spot in relation to the uh, enemies, it seems like. So, a lot of times I end up flying off in the wrong direction initially, not realizing that um, I'm not facing the right way. So, it's uh, you gotta be careful of that. Let's see if I can get a couple of these guys to wear a couple of them down, maybe. Again, these are the hardest missions in the beginning. Uh, unless you can get, unless you have uh, your own escort ships, which you can certainly purchase uh, for prestige. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this this trader again, unfortunately. But uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. You can see it's very difficult to keep up with these guys as they fly around. Because they're flying at very, and I, I have the maximum speed right now, <laughs> the maximum power to my to my uh, engines. So, all right, we lost 15 morale, down to 72. Let's end the day. Yeah, they're gonna head off there. It is gonna be it's gonna be problematic. I'm not gonna make it to there in time. So let's just get over here as close as we can. Yep, now we're down to 54 morale. It's not not very not very good. Let's come over closer to Terra Nova since there's a couple ships headed this way. Uh, a couple of my of my ships that need escorting, so I'll do that. There we go. They're escorting that one. That's very good. And now we are forced into an encounter. All right, so this one is just mano a mano, so I'm just gonna put all my power to the shields and try to take on these guys. Okay, come on, come on this guy out if we can. Good. The damage mod is helping a bit. Uh, what I really need are better weapons. <laughs> that, is, that is first thing on my list besides getting, uh, getting some escort ships. Those will help as well. That will also open up the other part of this where you can have some fleet management going on. generally don't like uh, games where you have to aim with the mouse like that, the top-down games where you have to aim with the mouse, because I always have problems trying to aim um, like that. But uh, in this case, it's, it hasn't been too bad, so I, I, I you know, it's, it's working out all right so far. All right, so it looks like we're going to have a battle right here at the star. The, uh, not. They went and they're going after our our ships. So let me take that. Let me cut them off before they get there. And again with the power to the shields. I like that there's the power management. Uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, diversity in um, in how you're going to manage things. It's pretty straightforward right now as far as what missions you can take on and what you're what you're 
what you're going to be tasked in doing. There are some uh, larger ships that will start to appear as I prestige up. Um, and that does put a different spin on the game. It makes it a little bit more hectic, these battles. Um, but at the same time, it's not... Uh, there's not a whole lot of variety in what you have to do. Uh, it's pretty much these three different types of, of missions. Um, there are uh, occasionally, and I don't know if you'll get to see it or not, but occasionally there will be a, um, a planetary assault where they, the enemies will come and try to try to take over a planet. Well, not take over, but they'll, they'll attack a planet. And then you actually have to defend the space station around the planet. Uh, that's pretty cool, but by th at that point, uh, it's you're not really as needed in that battle uh, because there's usually enough um, friendly ships in the battle that it's kind of you can kind of just fly around and not do a whole lot of anything, and it'll still resolve itself favorably, usually, from what I've seen anyway. Those guys are going up there. So let me get as close to them as I can before they start an encounter. Alright, this is... Let's get up here and see if we can do something to help. I don't know that we will be able to, but we will certainly try. Alright. Everything... Oh, you know what? Put everything in the engines is what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, so we get over there faster. And then we will fire our weapons. Fire, fire wild, wildly and hope for the best. Okay. There is a lot of repetitiveness right now. It's just because it's very early, I think. Um, so it is very content light. It's one of those. It's one of those things where I'm showing you the game uh, so early on that it's very hard to say, "Oh yeah, go out and go out and purchase it right now." More of just keep your eye on it and see if it's something you like. Uh, yep, still not able to save one of these guys. But I was able to get at least one ship destroyed, so I got a little bit of prestige out of it and some XP. Which is good, anyway. Uh, we st our morale is, is very... is in the red, though, so we need to... We need to do some things to improve the situation. Or else this is going to be a game over. So we're at 49 right now on the morale. If that gets to zero, uh, yeah, the game just pretty much ends at that point. I, I cannot get over to there fast enough. Oh, it looks like those... Oh. Alright, we gotta get up here. Hopefully they will be able to resolve that. Uh, no, they weren't. <laughs> they were not able to resolve that. This one is... This one's equally going to be bad. Our morale's already low. So this is, uh... Gonna cause some problems. I would say. There's no real way that I can... With these starting weapons, there's no real way that I can... I can make this be a favorable thing, unless they don't circle around like they're doing right now. So I might be able to... make this a thing here. If they stay relatively close together, I can probably... do this. Come on, come on, come on. I've got to check one of these things or else this is, this is not going to go... This is not going to be a very long playthrough. <laughs> like I said, I was able to at one point in time get to 50 morale or, or 30 days, I think, into it. Nope, nope. That's what I figured. Ah, uh, alright. Well, we destroyed one ship anyway. 
Technically we destroyed two, but it didn't count because I did it after the other one was destroyed. So now our morale's down to 16. Not very good. Not very good at all. Kind of hoping that it improves quickly because I would like to show you some of the later game stuff, but this is a really... <laughs> It's been a really terrible playthrough right now, uh, as far as as far as the game goes. Let's come down here a bit. All right, let's see if we can get over here and cut these guys off and get some morale back. That'd be very good. All right, everything to the shields because they're gonna come for me. And just fire wildly. They show up on the screen. I need to I need to aim a little bit better. That's the thing that this is why this is why I have so much trouble with with mouse uh, the mouse controls in, in games like this is that it just I have a very hard time just aiming, especially when the turret is is very slow to respond, which I suspect is a gameplay mechanic and not necessarily a bug. I think that's just that's just the way it was intended. It seems like that anyway. So it's you know it's very hard to things things going right for me. But I need this I need this morale boost that this will give to the system anyway. So let's see if I can get this guy. See they're very very quick and nimble fighters. So this is this is the case where having a having an escort ship helps out tremendously. That and when you're trying to protect uh, one of the fleets all right, so we've been promoted finally to lieutenant. So we now can get a new skill. And it's one of these minor skills, sort of. So, or passive, I should say. Passive skills versus active. Uh, rate of fire, plus 10%. That would be kind of good, but it's not really that helpful. Uh, plus 10% shield, or uh, plus 5% shield and hull for each ship in your fleet. Um... I generally go for the shield. That's usually the uh, tends to be the smarter, the smarter way of going things, doing it. Uh, and that is all for that day. Right there. So we got another fleet coming by here, which I could use a little extra, another morale boost on. So we'll go after them. Need all the morale boosts. I can get right now. Okay. It is, it is, uh, as I said, very light on the content right now, so it is very, very repetitive. I'm hoping that there will be additional missions and modes eventually that come out of this, that, you know, different conditions that happen in the galaxy that cause morale, things to happen, maybe even, I don't know, cargo missions maybe or something? Like, I know you're protecting freighters and everything like that, but maybe there would be some some uh, variation on a theme maybe. Maybe like destroying enemy freighters or something will affect your morale positively or something something like that uh, I think would be a good thing for, for the game to have, but obviously it's still very early and I don't know what the... Uh, um, roadmap is yet for the game, but even at its in its current state, it's it's kept me interested for quite some time. I like I like the take on. Oh, here we go. So this fleet here has got an extra ship in it. This is a um, a harder ship uh, to fight. It's not a not a capital ship, but it's a it's a more difficult challenge, I should say. So right now I'm going to park myself at Victoria for a moment since it's the only enemy fleet I can see at the moment. And I'm going to, so let's get some escorts, I think. We should probably, that would probably be a good idea. So we'll go for ships here. That's what I meant to say. This ship you always keep. Uh, this, these are your escorts. I, I meant, I think I, I said this differently. I said this was, you, you would upgrade to these ships. This is not... That is not the case. These are your escorts that you're buying. Uh, you, this ship is always the ship that you always have. 
Uh, so, do I have enough? I have 1300 prestige. So all I can do is get some scepters. Uh, so let's do that, since we can do it. We'll drag them over the escort uh, module here. Alright, and I don't have any other prestige for anything else. But that will help out tremendously, particularly with this next battle, I would say. Uh, it'll also show off a little bit more of the game. So what I want to do is we're going to have to end the day. Those guys are just kind of parking themselves over there for right now. And these guys don't look like... They look like they might continue on that way. So let's see if I can take on this fleet here. This, is, this might be a bad idea. Now that we have a retreat ability, though, I, I could probably get out of this if, if, it's, if it's looking really bad. So you see, now you got the tactical map. Escort ships that are part of your fleet have an independent behavior based on what happens in the field, but they can be given specific orders at any time by opening an attack map, which is using the tab key. Uh, and then I can just give them orders to where they should fly. So let us do that. Let's go put pump up our shields here. Actually, I don't really need to do that. He's going to stay pretty much right here and help me out. So I'm just going to kind of hang back a little bit and try and do whatever I can. I want to get rid of this guy as soon as possible because he's going to be a pain in the neck. He's also got shields, whereas, uh, whereas these other guys do not. Uh, let's see if I can focus on him, please. I really do need my interceptor to do to do more for me. That would be very, very nice. There we go. So that guy is done for. Let's open up the tactical map here. And yes, please, please go after, after this guy, if you would. That would be that would be quite nice. How do I do that? Ah, uh, there we go. Yes, go there, please. Thank you. Excellent. And now he's doing a very good job of keeping these guys under wrap, or at least keeping one of them under wrap for me while I fight this other one. My shield's not so good. My rear shield, that is. I want to make sure I protect those a bit. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. And that should help out quite a bit, hopefully, with the, uh, with the morale. It only gave 10 morale. Eh, well, it is what it is, I guess. All right, so we'll end that day. Oh, okay, here we go. This is what I was talking about a little bit earlier. So where are they headed to? Victoria, looks like. Oh, we just happen to be in the area. Uh, Lieutenant, a large pirate fleet is underway to attack one of our plants. This is a priority one mission. Find the fleet and assist the planets. So this is where you, this is the planetary assault. I'm glad that this happened so that we can see this other mission game mode that they have here. And I happen to be right in the neighborhood, which is even better. Okay, so what we need to do is basically like the uh, protect missions, uh, where you have to protect the fleet. But in this case, uh, you also have to uh, make sure to, let's see how I do this. How did I do that last time? I went like that. Right, uh, and then this guy, can I order him around? No, I can't, okay, whatever. Um, so it's just like that, except um, except you have a, an emplacement here that you need to protect, and oh my god, that's a lot of guys. <laughs> that is a lot of enemies right there, but luckily this space station is heavily armed, usually, so you've got some you got some wiggle room as far as picking things off. This, unfortunately, right now as it stands, it's uh, largely you're largely unnecessary. Um, the station itself can pretty much handle most of these things, um, and the escorts that are there also tend to help quite a bit. Uh, I took the brunt of that. Let's see if I can. Kill this guy as quickly as possible. Nice. Very good. Now we can destroy this. Destroy that one. 
And I think a few more just, just jumped in. Very good. We can actually pull these guys. I should just pull these guys over to the over to the station because the station's got weapons that will help out quite a bit with these little little pinprick guys. There we go. Same with these. Oh, we lost the friendly. But that is okay. Doesn't doesn't penalize me for that. It would only penalize me for the space station being lost. Very good. And we get a ton of prestige for that, which is quite nice, and a ton of XP, which I can I can use. And we get some good morale boost. We get plus 30, was it? On morale? I think that's what it said. Uh, let's go here. And let's see. I've got 2,300 prestige. How much was the... Uh, 3,500 dual fusion turret. That one's 2,000. Just the one turret. The dual fusion turret, once I get that, uh, there will be... There will be... The enemies will be falling... <laughs> falling upon themselves to get away from me. Alright, let's get that. I'm not going to be able to get up there in time, unfortunately. So I'll have to go this way. Uh, what, what happened to my escort? Pretty sure they don't... you don't lose your escorts, as far as I know. Uh, let me go back here again. Oh, there's another fleet here. Uh, inventory... Oh wow, they actually no, they actually did destroy my escort. Well that sucks. I didn't I didn't think they could do that. Um Yeah, that really sucks. I didn't think they could destroy my escorts like that. Like I, I thought they I knew they could destroy, but I didn't think they could remove it from your inventory entirely. Huh. Well that's a thing. Um and we're gonna have another another large battle here, so I should probably maybe I should just buy the one fusion turret now instead of waiting for the dual fusion turret. What is that? One thousand rate of fire, damage to shield and hull, three point five, one point five, and two. Yeah, it's a uh, fusion beam. It's just a cannon. All right, graviton beam is is the badass, the badass one. Uh, fire arc is fifteen, is two thousand. Um, hmm. Yeah, I I kind of want the turrets though because these guys are very fast and maneuverable. Especially if I'm going to take on another one of these fleets. Um, hmm. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? Go for it. And then we'll just have to take these guys on ourselves. Oh, I didn't even see the one up there. Oh, crap. <laughs> Our morale is suffering anyway right now. It doesn't really matter at this point, I guess. Alright, here we go. We're going to pump all of the power into our shields and hope for the best. See my my fusion turret. Should be enough to take these guys out without too much of a problem. It's the big Bertha one that I'm worried about. This guy here. I want to make sure that I get this guy out as quickly as I can. All right, this is. Well, let's take that guy out. Since he's low. Not doing as much damage as the dual cannon was. Dual cannon was doing a ton of damage. This, not so much. Let's take out these little guys too while we're here just to make sure. Just to try to reduce the amount of damage that's coming into my shields. There we go. Yeah, this was this was far more far more badass in the dual cannon configuration. <laughs> Alright, there we go. See, it's not really using up any of my any of my heat. It's not really building up heat, I should say, so. Good from that perspective. 
taking lots of hull damage, unfortunately. Keep my keep my forward shields towards them for the moment until my aft shields can can recharge. Hopefully, there we go. He's taking some taking some hull damage now. It's not as good against shields as it said it was. Oof, okay, that was a that was a bit of a nail biter. <laughs> but I did it. So we got 10 plus 10 all in the system morale. We're up to day 39. Alright. Little bug there where you can still see my other my escorts uh trail uh, from where they from whence they died. Um okay, so I got as far as prestige. I got 800 prestige. That's not enough to get what I want there, but let me see about modules here. Speed mod, hull mod, uh, capacitor, shield. I think shield might be a good one. This is damage, right? So let's take the shield one. Just because I'm going to need the extra bonus here. You got see, I've got plus 10 to the shield percent, plus 10 percent shield, plus 10 percent damage. Alright. I think that will do for now. Still want to save up some prestige for for actually uh, getting the, the badass weapon that I had before. But that's going to take some time. Alright, so we got another fleet here that I'm going to take on. This is going to be another <laughs> going to be another rough one, I, I can suspect. Alright, so let's do three here. Get our maximum speed going. And let's take these guys out. These guys out first. Try to reduce the amount of incoming damage coming in. At least from, from these guys. Not really reducing the damage from the other guy. But it's something. Okay, so far so good. Oh, my shield's not doing so hot. Not doing so hot at all. Alright, let's face our, our F shields at them for a moment. They are doing a little bit better. I think the uh, I think the sound of the of the weapon is getting louder as I as I hold on to it more. Okay. Doing all right right now. Enemy AI not quite up to up to speed right now. Not quite just sort of oh now he's changing tactics slightly. There we go. <laughs> oh, that works. That works. Okay, and this day. And we'll head on up here. There's two fleets coming in, so we want to probably go for this one, maybe. Oh, the, <laughs> I'm not going to have a choice. They came for me. Alright. Let's see if I can... See if I can do what I did last time and come out of this victorious. go. It's one down. The very least I can get like two or three of these killed and then if I have to retreat I can retreat. I don't think I'll have to retreat though. It's so far I seem to be seem to be handling it. Seem to be handling myself. Slow down a bit. See if this guy will come in. No, he's not. He's not coming in any any closer than that. Let's see if I can 
reel him in a bit a bit closer. My forward shields I need to flip around here a bit. Protect them a little bit. There we go. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Uh, and I think uh, I've pretty much at this point shown you most of the game. I haven't shown you any of the the later um, levels where I get up to, you know, start to rank up a bit and get access to um, higher weapons and, and just start really being a general badass. But I think you, I think you get the idea uh, of what the, what the game has to offer right now and it's very, very early alpha state. So I think I'll end it here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. This has been Centauri Sector by Wolffire Games. I'll leave a link uh, in the description to their website. They have a humble widget out there where I believe, as of this recording, I think they're on a sale where it's uh, $4.99 to get into the alpha, uh, regularly 10, 10 bucks US. Uh, there's also a couple other tiers on there if you want to look at some of the other perks that you can get. Uh, but that will do it for this for this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.